One of the things I've recently discovered is the benefit of having a chainsaw in the shop. In my case, I'm always looking for ways to turn logs into usable lumber. Primarily for me, it's about getting logs I can turn into bowl blanks, but it might also be a good looking piece of wood I want to cut into planks on my bandsaw, but I need a way to winnow it down a little bit before I get it on the bandsaw. So chainsaw is a great way to do this, more specifically an electric chainsaw. What's cool about this is I don't have to maintain a gas motor. I don't have to worry about filling the shop with all sorts of noxious fumes, and I don't have to do the work outside because of the fumes, because the thing is electric. So this isn't a uh, commercial for this particular saw. This is just something I thought if it's cool to me, maybe it's cool to you. So here's what I've got. This is a piece of maple crotch wood and be a beautiful bowl blank, but too big for me to handle up onto a bandsaw right now. What I'm gonna do is cut a face off of it. In order to do that, I found it's best if this is fastened to a board. That gains me two things. One, this is not gonna tip over while I'm cutting on it. And two, the sacrificial board, the chain is not gonna go into my floor. It's gonna cut into that piece of plywood looking something like this. I'm going to toggle back and forth between the two sides. A little bit crooked and that doesn't bother me because eventually that's going to come off when I work on the lathe. What a cool looking chunk of wood. Now for a bowl blank, here's what I would do next. And while I'm doing this, let's talk about that chainsaw work. Chainsaws are really designed to cross cut and I just got done doing a big ripping cut. So you got to take it easy on the cut. Ripping, just like on your table saw, really requires larger teeth than cross cutting does in order to get the waste cleared out. So when you're doing cuts parallel to the grain, take your time and don't horse on the saw too hard. Now, to turn that into a reasonably round bowl blank, I would take a disc like this and another screw like this and do this.
And I just keep working my way around that circle, getting this cut back so I get that blank as round as I can get it. So, like I said, I just thought it was kind of a cool thing. I wanted to show it to you. This particular chainsaw was under a hundred bucks. Great addition to the shop for bucking down pieces like this piece of maple.